Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about laboratory quality management and the importance. So as I promised you that I'll provide you the quality content on this channel with respect to NEBH, NEBL, ISO and healthcare quality. So for this I have already started the NEBH series and also have prepared a list of NEBL topics out of which I'm going to discuss one topic today that is on laboratory quality management. All right. So watch the video till end because it is going to be very, really, very really informative and please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Now let's begin with our topic. See, quality means conformance to requirements. It's a simple sentence which consists of three different words. And these three words are very effective in terms of quality. And if you deviate from your requirements, your standards, your clauses, then your conformity will become non-conformance. Now the question is, how do we measure the laboratory quality management system? Or how do we define the laboratory quality management system? Okay, so there are three different terms which defines the quality that is reliability, accuracy and timelessness. Now listen to me very carefully. If your test results are inaccurate, then definitely you'll get problem while doing treatment. And if your procedures are not reliable, that means when the patient came and you took their sample and gave reports within 15 minutes, that means your procedures are not trustworthy or not reliable. And the third one is timelessness, means that, that is turnaround time. It is the time starting from sample collection till reporting and you have to inform the TAP to your patient. It is very important. So these are the three terms which measures the laboratory quality management system. All right, now we talk about the level of accuracy. There is no such thing in the world which is 100% accurate. Okay, there are some limitations in each and everything. Whether it is 0.1%, 0.001% or 1%. Okay, similarly in the test results also, there are some limitations. There are some inaccuracy. If your test results are 99% accurate, that are totally acceptable. But if it is 1% inaccurate, so our challenge is to reduce that 1% error because that one person error might become so big and it will create problem in your test results, okay? And due to this, you will face lots of difficulties while handling the patient, okay? Now I'll tell you how. See, your healthcare outcomes will totally depends upon your test results and reporting. And if you are providing the inaccurate test results, that means you will face the negative consequences of this, which might be unnecessary treatment, delaying in diagnosis, difficulty in treatment, unnecessary testing, complications in treatment. So your test results should be accurate. Now the thing is how to minimize that one person laboratory errors. To avoid this, you have to perform all the processes and procedures in the best possible way. As you know that your laboratory is a complex system and it involves so many steps to be performed properly. All right, so make your SOPs as per your latest research. Join webinars, attend quality trainings, update yourself as per the current knowledge and make your own SOPs, policies and procedures as per the latest edition or the latest quality system clauses. All right, and your calibration should be done once a year. So these are the things which reduces that one person errors definitely. So this is all for today. And if you have any query, please comment below. And if you like this video, then please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. And one more thing, don't forget to follow my LinkedIn page, Facebook page and Instagram page. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye, take care and stay safe.